So I was not gonna gonna do any more gonna do any more reviews after the possessor review. Gotta take a drink. <sighs> but I just watched one of the weirdest movies I've seen in some time right now. Oh, and man, I was gonna make. I was gonna make wings. I was gonna make like uh, uh, lime and cilantro and Cajun wings. And I get everything ready, and I'm take and the wings are still frozen. I mean, uh, I thought them. I got them out earlier. I thought they were thawed, but they're still frozen. Oh, God. So, I'm, I'm not going to talk too long, but I just had to say something about this movie. I'm going to do a more in-depth review, look, try to find info about it. Oh, hold on a sec. I was going to start the review like this. When you cross the gates of nothing, no one will be near you. I didn't write the... God damn it. So the movie is called Door Into Silence. This is a movie... Like, Partly directed by Lucio Fulci, but then finished by Joe D'Amato. That's what it says on the IMDb. I don't know how true that is, but I, I did not know what to expect. It was okay, um, some gore. Um, not that good. Hope, hopefully some gore. So it stars John Savage, who is, I think he was in Apocalypse Now. So oh, the whole movie is just this guy, he's driving, and he starts following a hearse. I, I, I don't know what the hearse did to him. Maybe it cut him off? Or the dude flipped him off? So he just starts following this hearse, and he's chasing it. And like, the first 30 minutes... I was like, okay, this is gonna turn into something else, like haunted house, um, murderer, supernatural, but the whole movie is him chasing his hearse. And it was great, I thought, like, there's no gore, there's no special effects. There's barely any talking. And it's just him driving driving after this hearse chasing it down on these like back roads near swamps with like leaning telephone poles. Is this an I hope this isn't annoying you. Just chasing it down, just these old roads in the middle of nowhere. And swerving all over the road. And every once in a while he'll stop. He stops. In the very beginning, okay, he stops. Oh, his uh, car gets stuck. It looked like he was going to drive into a lake. And his car gets stuck, so he, he gets out of the car. I was like, okay, now he's going to find a house. He's going to find a, a girl or a killer. And then, like, this hunter, he's a hunter. And Hunter Poison points his rifle at him as like, okay, this guy's is he gonna die or <clears throat> and Hunter shoots a squirrel or something. And that's it, and he's back at his car and he puts a bunch of sticks into the wheel, backs out, and he's on the road again chasing the hearse. He stops at a gas station. In the beginning he does meet a girl. But then he, it just goes back onto the road. He's just chasing his hearse. 
And then he stops at like a. It also reminded me of like Jeepers Creepers. It's like the road stuff. Um, I just, you know, off the top of my head, Tulane Blacktop. And then all those. It's a film Mirage movie. Like, all those movies that the Italians made in the late 80s here in America that, that I used to think were terrible. Now those are like some of my favorite movies. And this is another movie. It also reminded me of the movie Ratman, because like it's like a, no one made this. This movie made itself. It just appeared one day, like in the late 80s, and it must it had to have come out in the theaters. It just has that 80s look. There's barely any talking, just driving, he's chasing his purse. And, and I was like, this could be like, this is just an episode of Tales from the Dark Side, Monsters, Tales from the Crypt, Twilight Zone, Outer Limits. It's just extended into a full movie where nothing really happens, but I enjoyed it. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch this again and do a more in-depth review. <laughs> this is be just be like this will be like a movie that I'll just put on but it's not that good uh, off the top of my head but I'm gonna give it a four to five of Mano's Hands of Fate it just I don't know it captivated me uh, oh when you cross the gates of nothing no one will be near you the shadow of your own death book four of the apocalypse yeah, Dorn to Silence, and I got it from um, an NSA DVD. Yeah, yeah, there's no, there's no gore, there's no uh, like optical effects, practical effects. There's no effects, zero effects in this. And I was like, okay, so with Chia Fulci, there'll be some gore. And when Joe D'Amato finished it, there'll be some nudity and porn. Nope. But, yeah, I really enjoyed it. But, during the silence, I'm going to do, I'll do a more in-depth review. But, look into it.